Now, I'm not here to describe how to create a poll using Poll Everywhere. That's simple enough, as you can see in the background here. Of course, it's pretty easy to just select a poll and download a PowerPoint slide that you can then add to an existing presentation. But, if you're actually wanting to do this <clears throat> the proper way, you can download the Poll Everywhere Presenter app, and that gives you some integration into PowerPoint so that when you're building your presentation in the first place, you can just go to the Poll Everywhere section. You do have to log into the service with your Poll Everywhere account, and then you can just say to insert a slide. It shows you all the groupings of existing questions, ungrouped ones that, like the new one that I created. Say insert the poll. There it is. Let's get a little sample of what this will look like. Of course, the first slide in that presentation was just an empty slide. Move on to the slide two, and you'll see very briefly that there's a placeholder there, and then the poll snaps right up, and as things are submitted to it, it will dynamically draw in the results. And, of course, if you've never actually used Poll Everywhere as a respondent or as a presenter, uh, bear in mind that you can just set up an account like the one that I've been using for several years now, completely for free, so long as you're you know, teaching higher ed, like you are, and uh, willing to accept a limit of 40 responses per poll. And, of course, they have information on uh, for pay plans that, well, you'd have to really want to use it to consider that, wouldn't you?